Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning into this episode of Revealed. In a previous episode, we walked you through our veneering process for a kitchen that we're currently working on. And here we have a couple of the doors that are already done and ready to go. So let me walk you through that process. So to recap, these have an MDF substrate core with a hand-stitched rift white oak veneer covering that and a solid rift white oak banding around the perimeter. We call this style a micro shaker. It is becoming increasingly more popular right now. And for good reason, this is a really unique profile. It's something a little bit different. It really blends the modern and traditional type of look. So just under these doors, we have the last pieces here in our vacuum bag being glued up right now. Once they come out of the bag, we're able to trim those pieces down to size, sand off any of the extra veneer tape that was holding these seams together. And then we have our interior panel. From there, we're taking the solid banding that we had milled up, cutting that to size with miters on all four corners and gluing those together. These doors could have been fabricated in a number of different ways. We could have used mortise and tenon joinery. We could have used dados and rabbits, but instead we did opt to just go with old fashioned gluing up. Since it is just a flat slab door, we're not really worried about needing any additional strength from any of this other type of joinery. To glue the miters around the panel quickly and easily, we're using these band clamps. These are helpful because they allow us to use them on many different size panels. Basically the straps extend and with these plastic blocks, they actually wrap around each of the corners. Then we can crank back the extra slack and use this handle to tighten up the panels, giving us nice tight miter joints. We're using this in combination with Typon's quick and thick glue. This allows us to keep them in the clamps for a shorter period of time, since here in our shop, we are limited to the number of these band clamps that we have. So these clamps are actually available uh, in most big box stores. You can even get them right on Amazon and we'll post the link in the description to make it easy for you guys. The band clamps are great because they do get these miters nice and tight. However, they're not going to apply the pressure that we need to the actual inner pieces of the band all around the perimeter of this frame. So we use the band clamps in conjunction with a typical F-style clamp. So that way we do get the pressure all along and we don't have any of our band pieces bowing out and causing any issues. So what we're doing here is we're actually leaving the back side of that band a hair proud of the panel. This is going to allow us to go back and sand that completely flush without having to compromise the veneer thickness. We don't want to burn through that veneer. So by keeping the solid edging a little bit proud allows us to sand completely flush or even use a flush trim router bit to make sure that we are completely flush and then sand appropriately. I'm excited to see this whole kitchen come together. I really do like this profile. These ones here are just about ready for finish. We do have a little bit of sanding and touch up to do before sending them out. And the rest of the kitchen is continuing to be fabricated. So I'll keep you guys updated as we progress on that. So we just wrapped up our Charlestown project. If you guys recall, we did a kitchen, a pantry, and some built-in closets on the third floor of the home as well as some other miscellaneous items. Nick is going to release a site visit after this video where he walks through that kitchen. So be sure to check that out to get a full in-depth look at the kitchen. We also have some brass shelving that's going into this kitchen that we'll be installing in the next few days. We'll be sure to take you along for that. We also showed you a pocket door for the pantry that's going to match the exterior pocket door that's currently being finished. So once we get that installed, we'll also be sure to keep you updated with that. Now, up in the third floor, we have this wall-to-wall, -wall, floor to ceiling closet built-in. We showed you this here in the shop when it was in fabrication. So now that everything's done and installed there, you get to see the full picture of this closet system. There is a double bifolding door, so it opens right up into a nice large hanging area. You can hang a lot of your clothes there. And just under that, we have nine large drawers basically a big dresser for plenty of other clothes. On the opposite wall, where we have this nook that also has three drawers and a built-in power outlet in the top drawer so they can charge things like their iPads or their phones. It has some counter space. It also has some wall-to-wall -wall floating shelves. And this space is wrapped up and looking great. And that's gonna do it for this episode. 
And please, if you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comments below, share it with your friends, tag your friends in the video, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.